Sandra, thanks. An investigation's underway to find out if 1,700 wild horses were illegally shipped off to slaughter. That number was confirmed for the first time today amidst demands for an immediate halt to roundups on public land. Science and Nature Specialist John Hollenhorst is here with the story, John. Well, Dave, the wild horse lovers are accusing the BLM of driving the Mustangs to extinction while turning a blind eye to their slaughter for horse meat. The BLM countered they're stepping up roundups because the horses are facing disaster. They're an icon of the West, but they're threatened by extreme pressure from drought and wildfires, the BLM says, so they can't be left out on the range to die. It would be uh, an ecological um, and I think social disaster. The government's top wild horse people are meeting in Salt Lake. Their critics turned up the heat at a news conference. Cease and desist all roundups now. These animals are being managed to extinction. There is no doubt about it. BLM officials say they're required by law to protect the horses, even if it means putting them in long-term holding corrals. But critics want the horses left alone. They claim the BLM is doing the bidding of the ranching, mining, and energy industries. These are our taxpayer dollars that are funding this unspeakable cruelty. But the BLM says nature has been cruel, especially in Nevada. There was very little forage for the winter at all, and all the summer forage was gone. Critics are angry that the BLM sold 1,700 horses to a single buyer who may have shipped them to slaughter in Mexico. I can confirm right now that the Inspector General of the uh, Department of Interior is investigating, has an ongoing investigation into those allegations, and beyond that, I can't comment. There will be no peace until those individuals are behind bars in a long-term holding corral of their own construction. Then we'll see how they like it. So far, the drought-related roundups have been concentrated in Nevada, but the BLM has just approved one in western Utah about a month from now.